I selected 10 online humans and trained each of them to build their own AI app. The challenge though is that none of those guys had built an AI app before. I gave them only one month to do it. None of them were students who had exams during that same period of time and they were spread out across eight countries. So time zones were all over the place. This is all part of an experiment I called the Codebender AI program. It turns regular people into Codebenders. AI is coming to replace us all and the only people who are safe are the Codebenders, people who can master AI. In this video, I'll show you the insane projects our 10 participants built how many of them gave up because of the pressure and how many of them reached the end line. Spoiler alert, I was mind blown. Before we go any further, let's get to know our participants known as the Starks 10. We have 10 adult males from 4 continents, 8 countries. Juan from USA, Wakas from Canada, Abdul Malik from Netherlands, Brahi from Nigeria, Imran from Turkey, Halazas from Spain, Assad from India, Ahmed from USA, Anirud from UAE, and Barish from Turkey. The setup was as follows. We had a Discord channel for internal communication. Participants would help each other and I would post announcements there. Every week for one month, we had a one hour call with all the participants together. It was tough to get the time zones right but we made it. We went over all the essential steps to build an AI app as a beginner. Number one, how to select a badass project idea. Number two, how to build a basic app with AI functionality. Number three, how to improve your app with prompt engineering and packaging. And number four, how to deploy your app online. All of this culminated with demo day at the end of the month where participants had to present their work. I invited a mysterious individual to be part of the jury along with me. He is a famous tech creator who helped launch Windows 11. I will reveal his name later. This is the first Codebender cohort program. In my eyes, we're really starting history. And the people who learn AI now are going to get a massive advantage compared to everyone else. How do you usually uh, mitigate the mistakes AI makes? I don't know much uh, experience with APIs. I don't know if we could cover it. Yeah, I look forward to uh, working with these guys. After the kickoff, students slowly started making progress. I gave them an example project that they could use for inspiration. It's a basic React app that has an API call to open AI. So they could use that to see how to interact with an AI. When you run the app, it opens an interface that allows you to chat with the last code vendor. I used the GPT 3.5 Turbo model, which is the same model as the one used for ChatGPT. Students slowly started to clone the app to try to run it locally on their own computers, but they encountered a few issues. The API call was failing because the environment variables were not set properly. It was a quick fix though. After a few days, everyone was set. The participants then started to work on their own individual projects, but slowly the pressure was being felt. Demo day was approaching and our participants had their exams during that same period of time panic was spreading. I tried to calm it down and help them with their apps. Imran in Turkey had an issue making one API call work for his project, so we jumped on a call together. He was trying to build an audio to notes AI. Basically, imagine that you go to a lecture, but you don't want to take any notes. You pull up your phone, you click the record button, and you record a two hour lecture. The AI will take those two hours of audio and turn it into very structured notes. This is what he was trying to achieve. But then Ahmed in the US needed some help to get his app deployed. He was trying to build a YouTube AI thumbnail generator. Some participants would message me and announce me that they're giving up. The pressure got to them. It was too much. Demo day was there soon. But the Codebenders aren't ones to give up. After a little motivational speech, everyone was back on track. Demo day was still in a few hours though. The Discord channel was buzzing. Wakas from Canada and Brahe from Nigeria were both having issues getting their app deployed. We were trying to get to the bottom of it, but after some time, messages stopped. The last message was posted 14 minutes before demo day starts. And the errors were still there. I truly hoped they would be able to solve it in those last minutes. Demo day is finally here. Welcome everyone. After one month of work, starting from scratch, despite hardships and obstacles along the way, all of our 10 participants built and deployed an AI app. To review all these projects, I invited our mysterious jury, Jason Goddison. A YouTube creator as well, YC founder who used to work at Microsoft where he helped launch Windows 11. Together we'll go over all the apps, ask some questions and give them feedback. We'll go through the demos country by country from the left side of the map to the right. We're starting in the USA. The first demo is from Juan. Berkshire GPT is basically based off of Berkshire Hathaway, which is uh, one of the greatest like investment firms of all time, where famously Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett work at. So the Oracle of Omaha is basically paying homage and it's a nod to Warren Buffett himself. Let's ask the Oracle uh, you know, pretty basic question, or let's just add a ticker symbol and see what it tells us. Cool, you see the response coming back pretty quick. That's because we're using streaming to basically return our response back. So it's looking at its competitive advantage. Uh, next, you should consider the company's financials. And it's also talking about regular regulatory scrutiny with Facebook. Cool project. Honestly, the user experience I think is great. This loading state and then the streaming, that's awesome. 
really cool that you can stream it because I literally looked into this yet like two or three days ago and I was like, oh, you can't stream. I moved on. So it seems like you can do it, which is really cool. Next project is also in the US, the YouTube AI thumbnail generator by Ahmed. The YouTube thumbnail generator is just like a fun project. I wanted to see what I could do with AI image APIs. Uh, what you would do here is enter a video title, search for it, and it's going to generate a thumbnail based off of a prompt that GPT creates and passes to to open or to Dolly. If you could specialize to whatever Dolly is best at among all types of pictures you can generate, art, realistic, abstract, like whatever it is, if you can specialize in that and you're like, okay, this is an AI thumbnail generator specifically for like animated videos, for example. And then in the beginning, it's just that. And so you try to reach out, for example, to all the creators who, who do those types of videos or in that niche and you propose your services. That will allow you to get some money in the door. Next, we're moving to Canada, the AI Tweet Analyzer by Wakas. All right, the idea behind this is basically Twitter is one of the biggest social medias today, and everyone wants a piece of the virality. And Jason or Zorbeck give me a tweet idea, maybe a thread or something you want to go viral. Say, for example, I just built a GPT trading bot and I gave it $10,000 to trade. So as you see, it returns it as a table, basically. It gives, a, it gives the tweet a rating. So eight out of 10, some feedback. It gives you advice specific to your tweet. And then it gives you an improved version. And in this case, it's 20% improved. Can it actually generate a thread or it improves that specific tweet? It improves that specific tweet, but that could be a future iteration where it yeah, gives it you nice. a thread out of just a tweet. Have you heard of Tweet Hunter? Like if you want to go after this market, I think a big part of it is being able to, we help you find all the most viral tweets because like GPT out of box is probably not going to be good at like just coming up with viral tweets. But if you can find all of the viral tweets, the tweets going viral right now, and you can kind of get on top of trends before they really like explode. And you can use GPT to help synthesize somebody's like voice note into like a thread. Yeah, I would use it. Sounds like a, an interesting product. This is what I love about this group and you will see in the next projects coming all of them are so unique and different we're now moving to the projects in europe the first is a project by abdul malik in the netherlands he built an ai meal planner a individual has three options to uh, select I have the option to choose for the limited ingredients let's say uh, it's it is the morning i have three eggs some onions a la bacon salt and pepper you have to option the time you want to spend and then you will get another summary and it will also select the perfect dish for that. Uh, if you wonder, it uh, provides the recipe name, ingredients, instructions, also a step-by-step -step road. I think it's uh, I think it's really cool that you spend so much time thinking about the design, background, very aesthetic. The icon logo is very like on brand. Everything seems to flow well, and you put little animations. I think that's really cool. I think if you do want to turn it into something that like people would actually use, and not just a pet project, you could basically make this an app where you could just take a picture of your fridge, and then it's like, okay, it just knows all the ingredients in your fridge and recommends you something that you could cook. I would absolutely use that. If I'm like, oh, I have all these things, I don't know what to make. But I'm not going to sit there like typing out all the ingredients I have. But yeah, I think it's a, a really cool project. Next is Spain, a project by Palacios. Basically, the app is like a meal and fitness planner. So put your fields and the information of yourself and it makes you a little like a routine to follow. And here it is. It formats the output in a certain way fitness plan and the meal plan. If you can turn now that plan into something that is super easy to make it actionable, like if you can somehow add it to an agenda or add something that on your phone, imagine like every day you get a reminder for like a checklist mm. of things and throughout the day you can go over the items that you have to do and it keeps track of progress. I, I was thinking of maybe a backend where you could um, save your plans and you could do maybe some auth authentication. Yeah, for sure. We are halfway, five projects done. It's time for Africa. Next project is by Brahe in Nigeria. So how's everyone doing? <laughs> so essentially, what job the pundit is, like as name entails, like it's just a troll like, like English Uti pundits that occasionally like pops. So I'm going to show you how like it works. For instance, um, can Chelsea win the champion? So you see the response, like, um, because he has a personality of like an English man. Oh, I like uh, the design. Yeah, thank you so much. The design is very creative. <laughs> yeah, the, the only thing is um, 
Chelsea are terrible now. <laughs> Champions League. Have a yeah. Premier League. Let's stay in the Premier League first. <laughs> We're moving to Turkey now with two projects. First one is Imran. It's a project that uses the Whisper model uh, that will transcribe the text and GPT 3.5 Turbo to prompt the text. You upload your file. So I have this recording. I'm talking about education in this audio file. Yeah, so now you can see that there's the summary, like the whole note is, is organized. You have a summary, you have the main points, the arguments. Nice, looks really cool. Um, I like it. I mean, I built something also kind of similar to this like years ago before LLMs, but the idea was like summarize la lecture notes. So like you could just open your this you know website on your laptop and click record. It obviously was not very good back then. LLMs were not a thing. So <laughs> cool, I like yeah. it. And Imran, you're a student, right? So you could try to share it with your friends. That could be like the first users. Get them to leave a few reviews. And from there, you can start spreading it just inside your school. Second project from Turkey is presented by Barish. The mission is also is to inspire more people to start reading the Quran and explore its teaching in depth. You can ask him to bring that surah for us, like the English version of the course. Here's the answer. Uh, it's also known as the night journey, like we can read it. I think it's cool for demystifying the Quran to other people. Like I might use this just to be like, all right, like teach me something about this, like demystify the whole process for me. Cause I'm probably not going to go read the whole thing, but I definitely like to get the spark notes version of it. That's really cool. We're now on to the Middle East, a project from the UAE by Aini Root. Okay. So basically the primary motivation for creating meme GPT is to jump on the bandwagon of uh, Elon Musk versus Mark Zuckerberg. When I click on the generate meme button, pins and gets me a new image as well as a response. Then do more. So just prior to this call, like an hour back, I just decided to post on Reddit and see uh, the reactions. This was a subreddit called Programming Humor, where I was about to get like four upvotes and 546 views. And this is another subreddit called Programming memes and this seemed to be doing pretty well like seven upwards over the past hour nice i made i made almost exactly this project for my first hackathon like almost uh -huh, exactly okay. yeah, obviously gpt was not that thing so it was just like different but yeah this is interesting cool have you considered also potentially using an like an ai art generator to do custom images you know based on like yeah i based on tried the a few but i mean mid journey wasn't that robust i hope uh, they develop it further in the future we have now reached india for the 10th project asad created the chat gpt clone and added voice control functionality i have added the speech recognition when i click on it and uh, speak something it will be prompted here right when i stop it then send it again it will be yeah how long did it take you to build it one week did you consider potentially making a Chrome extension? So while I was exploring this, someone uh, from the uh, cohort sent me the Chrome extension. So it's already there, but yeah, we can create it. And this was the last demo. Super proud of this team. 10 projects built from scratch within a single month. Those guys are on a trajectory for success to stand out in the era of AI. I left links in the description if you want to reach out to any of the Codebender participants. Go show them some love, follow them on Twitter, reach out if you want to collaborate. And if you want to join the next cohort to build a badass AI app, go to the link in the description. See you there.